Hello and welcome back to the Azores Islands Guide. Today we were exploring Angra do Heroismo, the capital city of Terceira. We were advised that there is a running with bull happening in the close by village. As a true travelers we could not miss out on this opportunity and we started heading towards the new adventure. We will explain how this show works and also cut for you the most exciting parts. Subscribe to my channel and let's find out if we survive this adrenaline delight. And then in the Azores, um, I was not prepared for the level of beauty that we encountered. There is a level of beauty that I've only experienced two, maybe three times in my life that sort of leaves you physically sick, like ill. It's so beautiful that your your body is the weak link. Like you, you might think that sugar is tasty, but if you were to eat a bag of sugar, you'd probably be sick to your stomach. And I would say this was like so much beauty that it was at an almost pathological level. And, more than more than I think my family could really take in. On the way to village Porto Judeu, we ran into a view spot Miraduro da Seretina Feteira. Your sight cannot escape the gorgeous view of Ilheus das Cabras. A two gorgeous islands sticking out just close by the waterfront. We finally arrived at the village and started walking towards the main event. With the police and life services present, we realized that this might not be just fun, but can also lead to a serious injuries. The streets were well prepared, doors and windows were barricaded and people were hiding behind the fences. Next to this gorgeous chapel was a container where they were holding the bull. We were searching for the best place to watch. All the walls were already occupied with the locals, so we had to go a little bit creative. Mike finally found his perfect spot. And as you can see, locals didn't hesitate to put a little bit of risk to see the goods. This place was breathing with freedom and it was very refreshing. Even though this place seemed perfect, I had to go closer and see the action. I almost wanted to step out of the barricade to take some cool shots. I quickly realized that with heaps of freedom comes responsibility. This was the first release of the bull today. I could feel the adrenaline going through my veins. But after all the excitement was time to take a short break. We spotted bunch of locals walking around with chippies and other snacks. It was very convenient because you could not walk too far. Chippies. 
They also had to take a break and let go through all the traffic. And for a sweet tooth, ice cream and popcorn were also available. Once you hear a tree shots from the gun, you know it's time to take a place and enjoy the second round. It has its specific name, a bullfight with a rope. It is a very famous and old Terceiras tradition. In this sense, the ropes are held by six men called the shepherds, who lead the fight and prevent it from leaving the section defined by scratches on the ground. During this event, four bulls are released, which are controlled by the rope tied around their necks. The first record of a bullfight on a rope dates back to 1622. However, it is believed that these bullfights have been going on for so much longer. <laughs> This tradition is especially interesting since it promotes interactions with the people of Terceira. The population gathers to eat in taverns installed in the place or at tables provided by the inhabitants of the island. If you are planning to attend the bullfight on a rope, you should travel to Terceira Island between May 1st and October 15th, which is called the bullfighting season. The bullfights have a maximum duration of 2 hours and 30 minutes, between 15 to 30 minutes of each bull with breaks. We have decided we will change our location so we can check out the other side of the street. Our last bull seemed to be very angry and we were rushing to find some spot to hide. understand why locals were so excited about this event. The Azores Islands are usually very quiet and peaceful place. And this was the ultimate event that brought everybody together to have some fun and let go of some steam. <laughs> Get the keys, 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 get the keys
This was an amazing experience and we had so much fun. However, I am very sensitive creature with a lot of empathy and I felt sorry sometimes for the bull. And that was a little experience. Was. Cool stuff. And what do you think? Would you come to a party like this? Please leave us comment down below and let us know. Thank you so much for watching. It was true delight to have you on board. Please subscribe to my channel so you do not miss out on the upcoming videos. In the next episode we are going to explore another exciting part of Terceira. This time we are going to visit a true nature wonders of this gorgeous island. We found volcanic furnace in the middle of the hilly country and explored insides of the actual volcano. Have you ever been in a crater? Follow us to visit this incredible place. And last but not least, we are going to have incredible hike through the most beautiful forest and check out some stunning views. If you enjoyed this video, please give us thumbs up and share with your friends and family. And we will see you in our next video.